Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a bit about lifestyle and I talk a lot about personal finance and investments. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a two-month update regarding the BPI ALFM Global Multi-Asset Income Fund. Two months already, but Gcash just launched this in December 2021. Why do I have two months of updates already? Well, as shared with you in my previous video in October, this fund was originally available just via BPI online and the fund has been made available recently via Gcash. So even though it's brand new in Gcash, the performance that I will share with you through BPI is totally indicative of how it could also perform for Gcash. Again, it's the same exact product. What's been very interesting about this fund is that first would be how this fund invests in global markets. And number two, this fund promises high dividend yields. In this video, we're going to be checking on that. Is this fund delivering on this promise? Let's find out. To be completely honest, I wasn't exactly sure how BPI would be giving me the dividends for this fund. I haven't invested in any UITF or mutual fund that was giving dividends previously, so the crediting of dividends to my account actually caught me by surprise. I was randomly checking my transaction history on my BPI mobile, and I came across this entry of a credit of 22 pesos and 94 centavos in December 15. It was labeled 4347 payment with the sub-label of investment-BIMI or BME. And when I backtracked a little, I saw that I had a similar entry in November 15 for the amount of 18 pesos and 34 centavos. At this point, I was a little excited even though it's such a small amount. So I tried to verify this and look into my statement of account. Unfortunately, the statement of account for investments is not yet available via BPI Mobile, so I had to resort through other ways to be able to verify this. What I was able to pull out from the ALFM website was the latest fund disclosure regarding this fund. So checking on the fund update, there is a line entry here stating that as of recorded date of November 2, there are dividends to be declared on November 15, which timing-wise works out to the crediting of that amount in my BPI savings account. There is a unit dividend of 0 0.0037 with the cash equivalent of 0 0.176 pesos. So this was still a little inconclusive. So what I did was that I divided the 18 pesos and 34 centavos credit and divided it with the dividend cash equivalent of 0 0.176 pesos which led me to the figure of 104.20 which actually matches up with the number of shares that I have in this fund. So yes, the amount that I'm getting on the 15th of the month is actually dividends coming from the BPI ALFM Multi-Asset Income Fund. So the 18 pesos and 34 centavos actually comes out to 0.37% of the 5,000 pesos that I put in. This gives a run rate of 4.43% for the annual dividends exactly within the range that I shared with you in my previous video and as promised by BPI. So yes, this fund is definitely delivering. For those of you who have invested in the fund or are considering investing in the fund via Gcash, you can probably expect the same performance. Of course, this is a highly volatile fund. BPI makes no absolute guarantees whatsoever, but I'm just sharing this based on my personal experience so far. The fund is actually delivering based on the set expectations. So for Gcash, I expect the process to be similar. I expect some crediting on the 15th of every month or at least a few days after the 15th of every month. So for those of you who have invested, you could look out for this in your Gcash accounts. Just as a disclaimer though, I actually increased my investments in the fund. So now it's at 6,000 pesos already. That's why my December dividends are a little higher. The actual performance of the fund is however currently in the red. I'm currently down 198 pesos, which is a loss of 3.3% so far. But factoring in the dividends of over 40 pesos, that actually comes down to 158 pesos as a loss which trims my losses to about 2.6%. So is this a bad fund? Why is it in the negative? 
Actually, no, even in the fund disclaimer, the recommended period to invest in this fund is actually over 5 years. The fund actually allocates about 37% to foreign equities, so that would account for a lot of the volatility and the current negative performance. Why is the fund specifically down right now? Well, in the US market, there is some negative reaction regarding the current spread of COVID in the form of the Omicron variant. So the markets are really reacting, not just in the US, but actually globally. But again, these are just small hiccups along the way. If you were to sit tight and just trust the market, as it has performed in many years, if not even decades, the market always produces great results for those willing to wait it out and really again playing the long-term game. As shared with you in previous videos, I've actually made some good returns from investing in global equities, but you do have to go through some rough periods wherein your investments are in the red. So if you haven't watched that, you can check out this video on my channel. If this has gotten you curious about US stocks and the global markets, if you want to be more actively investing and directly investing in stocks, you can check out GoTrade where I'm giving you $2 free to start your account. Use my promo code on the GoTrade app that's 998839. Use that if you want to get invested directly in US stocks. But if not, and you want to stick with Gcash, that's fine as well. Gcash now has three investment funds that are investing in global equities. There's this one, the BPI Global Multi-Asset Income Fund. And there is the Atram Consumer Trends Index Fund and also the Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund. There are so many options for us now Filipinos on how we can invest in the global markets. So tell me in the comment section, which platforms will you actually use to invest in global stocks and funds? I'm curious to know what and why. I hope this has been helpful. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching guys and happy investing.